Welcome back to the channel, VSD here, Balance Piece Tech, or if you're here for the first time, yeah, welcome. Wanted to do this video since a long time. Wanted to show you guys the main differences between the One UI Home Launcher, which is actually the basis of what you see in almost every new or recent Samsung phone. Running One UI, of course, it could be One UI 3, 4, it could be One UI 2, and etc. And the differences compared to what you see in a Pixel device, where we have the so-called stock Android, which is the pure Android, right? Because it comes from Google. And we have the Pixel Launcher. I wanted to do this comparison just first because I myself am interested into these nitty gritty details. And second, because I wanted to share this with you. But before I start this video, I wanna make a request, guys. That's my fifth video for this week. So every day put a video. I really hope and really count on you to subscribe for my channel if you're just a random visitor why not right free and probably also check one of my other videos i do on the channel i do quite a lot of stuff and yeah i'll be happy to see you around so now i'm gonna start so without any further ado we have here the samsung one year home launcher versus the pixel stock launcher i am on the home screens on my both phones so i'm just gonna keep and hold like this this is the type of behavior you get on the Samsung, you get a nice fancy animation with several options, right? I can access the wallpaper in the style, the themes, the widgets, the settings. I can also delete this page and make this page as my central homepage. On the Pixel C is a bit more simplified, so I can just do this one more time. I can access home settings, I can access widgets and wallpaper and style. Right now, from this first screen, guys, you can just see I have some advantages on the Samsung one. I'm gonna show you, I can do like this, okay? Now this means that the second screen is always going to be my default screen, right? Unless the pixel, you cannot do this. So let's say I'm right now on this screen and if I just swipe like this to go back on my original screen, I'm gonna get on the second one. Of course, I wanna stick with the first one. This here is one of the biggest differences that we can see on the main screen. And I wanna talk a bit more details as I continue with the video. I'm gonna open this folder here on my Pixel and the same folder here on my Samsung. So please, guys, when you're looking at this video, think about two separate lines of thought. Now, the first line of thought is going to be animations and etc., And the second line of thought is going to be functionality. So I wanna do this video into paying respect to both the functionality provided, but also the design, okay? So I'm gonna do this one more time. When I click on a folder on the Samsung, we're gonna get this very nice blur effect, pop-up animation. When I do this on the Pixel, very quick, right? No blur, etc. Even see here, guys, they're using a solid color on the background of the folder, okay? But of course, yeah, it has some advantages. The Pixel is faster. Now, you can remove those things on a Samsung phone, I'll probably do a video like this. You can really make this blazing fast, but I'm here for all the whistle and bells. I wanna have all the animations. But why did I show this to you guys? Remember, I fooled you to think about a functionality and also design, and actually I, I didn't really fool you. Why, see here guys, when I open this like this, okay, and I scroll down, boom, one more time, boom, pay attention to the notification dot, this fancy animation is something that I like very much on my Pixel. You don't have this on a Samsung phone, right? I'm going to deep dive a bit more later in the video, but right now I just wanna show you some of the basic stuff. Um, speaking about basic stuff, what I'm gonna do also is the following. I'm gonna go inside this folder here, right? Why? Because I wanna press on Gmail, so I'm just gonna press and hold Gmail. I have the option to compose a new mail, right? I can, of course, remove the icon, disable, and of course, get my hands on some widgets. If I hold my finger here, right, see, it pretty much offers the same functionality, although organized into a different way, different design, so the design language, absolutely different. But I wanna share a different insight with you. I'm gonna go here on my next screen, guys, and I'm going to hold my finger on this particular application, okay? I have here the option to select, remove, and uninstall it. So let's say I'm doing the same on my Pixel. Holding the finger like this will just get me some interactions with the application itself. By the way, I can pause it, like if I click here, guys, I'll be able to pause all the notification, I can access the widgets and etc. But on the Samsung One UI Home Launcher, right, I can click select, and now I'm gonna get access to this fancy menu. And this is something very important. This was something missing from uh, some of the phones I've used in the past, like the Oxygen OS One Plus. And why is this important? I can show you directly. I'm gonna click now on this, select this application, and I'm immediately, guys, here, you know, the Create Folder button will be active. If I press it like this, boom, 
I directly get a new folder that I've just created with these applications. And voila, okay? Now, if I'm to do this on, on my uh, Pixel device, I need to just click this one, just drag it and put it there, okay? And then, of course, I'm gonna have a new folder. If I click on the folder here, I do still have the option to select it, right? Like if it's a normal icon. So what I can do, I can, of course, remove them from my screen and I can drag and drop them, organize them in a better way. So this is also, I would say, a quite noticeable difference from the experience in terms of functionality that we get, okay? Not so much design, but here functionality definitely is winning me over. Some other things I wanna to show to you guys. If I hold my finger here, it's time for me to go inside the settings and I'm gonna do pretty much the same. I'm gonna go into home settings. This is really the management menu, right? From here, we are managing our launchers. And the first thing that is very noticeable, you can see you have the home screen layout and also the grids. So the grids are not available here, for the grids, you need to hold again and go into the wallpaper and style. Just scroll down a bit and you're gonna have here application grid options, okay? So yeah, I would say they do offer about the same, although different level of grids, but about the same level of functionality. So let me just go back in my home settings. Something not available on the Pixel and available on the One UI Home Launcher. We have the home screen layout. If I click on it, I have an option to get the home and up screen, which is pretty much what I have, or only the home screen, which means that I'm gonna get all the apps on my home screen. Now, let me just show you guys. I have here all my apps, right, in a drawer, and I have here also all my apps, or some of my apps on my home screen, right? So you can apparently tweak this on a Samsung phone. Of course, the Pixel has its own advantages. It has here the edit glance, which is a very nice and beautiful widget with a lot of important and useful information. It does also have the notification dots. When you click on them, guys, you are redirected here to the notification settings. Notification dot on an app icon. What does this mean? If I remove this, remember here, boom. Now I don't have the notification on the Facebook, okay? Uh, you have to pay attention, guys. I'm going to re-enable it. Now, boom, see? it reappears again. Now, those things are also manageable on the One UI Home Launcher. Let me just show you guys. If we scroll down a bit, you can see something called app icon badges. Right now, for example, I have something called two, so I have two notifications on a messenger. If I hold my finger like this, yeah, I have the option to select the icon to remove to install it, but only this one, right? I can also remove it, so right now I'm gonna get this clean look, right? See, no notification, nothing, but I do have another option. So I can put the numbering back and I can click inside here, guys, and I can choose to only have a dot and not a number, okay? See here, guys, boom. Yeah, now I have these dots. All right, I have to agree, we don't have this fancy animation with a dot like this. See here, guys, once I'm inside the app icon badges, I can click on the notification on app icons and this will display part of notification once you hold the icon. So I'm gonna go back here, hold the finger on Messenger and just see. I can see who is writing me and also part from the notification. And this is very, very, very useful. And of course, there are other extras inside. On the One UI Home Launcher, you can decide what to have next to your home screen. It can be the Google Discover or the Samsung Free. On the Pixel Launcher, you can just swipe to access Google app, or if I remove it, guys, I will have nothing. And this is pretty much the behavior that you get on the One UI launcher. You have also the option to show the app screen button on the home screen. Right now, my last icon is the camera. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna click on show app screen button. Right now, I have a button. Clicking it will give me access to all my application. This is missing from the Pixel launcher, but don't get me wrong because the Pixel launcher has its own perks, like at a glance. It's a very, very useful widget. You can get a lot of useful information, timer and stopwatch, bedtime, also fitness activities, whatever music you listen to. So a lot of things, weather information. And yeah, it's kind of like a trademark from Google. On the One UI home launcher though, you can lock the home screen layout which will prevent you from deleting anything. So if I put it like this and I give the phone to my kid and he tries to delete the YouTube studio, yeah, the home screen layout is locked. You cannot change anything, which is really very, very useful. Also, right, remember in the beginning, I told you that you have two screen layouts, home and up screen and only home screen. Right now, in my case, I have both and I can decide to add all new applications, icons on my home screen. I can also go and choose apps to be hidden, right? Which you cannot do here 
on the Pixel Launcher. Both launchers do support the Rotator Landscape mode, so this is very nice. Here it is, and this is actually something that I use very, very often on my phones. And like I told you, there are some tricks and some perks that only the Pixel Larger has. You have here the suggestions for all apps and home screen. You'll get those suggestions on the home screen, right, if you decide to choose so or not. And it's actually quite nice. Get app suggestion, all right, this is really something that is implemented by Google, and yeah. You know, the Pixel 6 is a very smartphone and this is what Google are bringing about. And of course, they try to implement this inside the launcher. So app suggestions is something very, very useful and very cool. On the One UI Home launcher, we have swipe down for notification panel. I can get here my notifications from almost everywhere. See, I can just swipe from here and I can just swipe from here. But you know what? It is also the default behavior on the Pixel launcher. So I'm really happy to see that actually those launchers share one of the best functions again they have their differences they have their similarities and i address them both functionally and also design wise i'm gonna leave it up to you guys what you like better just let me know down below in the comments and if you like videos like this yeah let me know and i can do more guys appreciate you staying the whole time for this video make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and please you and your family stay safe with that said vst over and bye